safety is at the core of everything that we do at Wabi. And from day one, we've been looking at how we develop and deploy self-driving vehicles in a way that is much safer than ever before. At Wabi, one of the key pillars of our development has been what we call Wabi World, which is our neural generative AI simulator that allows us to recreate the real world in simulation. We use Wabi World in order to safeguard our system's behaviors before it hits public roads. Wabi World also has actors and the environment. So we can create the roads we've seen, other actors, and then we can also inject AI actors. It's great for a lot of development, but what we're missing is the real dynamics of the truck. Close Coast Testing has been a fundamental tool utilized in the industry in order to test the safety of self-driving vehicles. You typically create a handful of scenarios where you are testing very specific things in a controllable, potentially repeatable manner. It's very similar to creating movie stunts. It's very difficult to replicate and have the specific nuances that you're trying to test. So we don't really push all the way to understand will the self-driving vehicle act the right way when faced with really a safety critical situation. One of the constraints is really the speed in which you can iterate because each scenario requires you to arrange all the vehicles the way you want, coordinate how you want them to move, how you want them to behave. It's very hard to repeat in a consistent way. We are reimagining how close core testing works. We are bringing the simulator to the real world by creating mixed reality testing. Mixed reality is combining Wabi World with the reality. So we can run a simulation inside our autonomous truck while it is driving on a close course. And then we can replace certain elements of the real world with simulated elements. So what we're looking at here is a visualization where this red truck here is, is us. We're in the middle of uh, these lanes, which are the, the track, and this is the camera view. But all these other actors that you see moving around us, these are all synthetic. They are all part of the simulation. That doesn't exist. So this actually takes the technology of Wabi World and injecting that into what the truck sees. So from the truck's perspective, it's all real. So what we have here is like the best of both worlds of a controlled environment where we can test a real truck, but we can use simulated vehicles and virtual actors to do some of the things that are very difficult to do with a physical vehicle. And the really cool thing is this is all running on the computer in the truck. So down here, it's all running and it allows us to do a lot of the testing really dynamically and repeatably. So it's not just about doing things that are difficult or expensive, but you can do them in the, consistently every single time. You don't have to worry about coordinating a crew of 10 people to line up 10 cars in the exact right scene. That's all part of the magic of mixed reality testing. We can now unleash the full power of AI and the simulator in order to create this alternative world where you can test the system in all possible situations. Millions of tests can be done with even a single self-driving vehicle. This allows us to really, really scale close course testing and look at many, many more scenarios than uh, it would be otherwise possible. My hope for the future is that mixed reality testing becomes part of every closed course test because it really allows you to do things much more efficiently, much more scalably and reliably and also in a safer way. It is very clear that self-driving vehicles are going to save many, many lives. The question is, how do you get there in the safest possible manner? Today we are putting a goalpost for the industry and we hope that everybody will be following Wabi because safety shouldn't be proprietary, safety is for all. And today we are telling the world safety can be done to the next level.